is a whole muscle that is made up of a bundle of, va of fascicles. A fascicle is a bundle of muscle cells or also known as muscle fibers. A myofiber is covered by a sargolemma, the cell membrane. A myofiber consists of contractile units known as thick and thin filaments. Specifically, a thick filament is myosin and a thin filament is actin, troponin, and tropomyosin. Here we have a sarcomere, which is a highly ordered unit of thick and thin filaments. It's measured from Z-line to Z-line. Inside of the Z-line, lies the A-band, which is the length of the thick filament. We also have the I-band, which is the length of only thin filaments. Next we have the H-zone, which is in the center and only contains the thick filaments. These are the distinct areas of one complete sarcomere. So inside of the sarcomere, the thick filament grabs hold of the thin filament and pulls it, causing the Z-line and Z-line to come closer together, which is actually a single cell muscle contraction. Muscle contraction begins with an action potential traveling down the axon. As it moves, it opens calcium channels, allowing calcium to flood in. When the flood of calcium reaches the synaptic knob, vesicles containing acetylcholine are pushed to the end of the axon membrane where they fuse with it and dump their contents into the synapse. Acetylcholine then finds the receptors in the motor end plate that will open the potassium-sodium channel. There is some potassium in the muscle cell already, but once the channel is open, lots of sodium ions flow into the muscle cell. This creates an action potential along the muscle cell or along the sarcolemma. The action potential has traveled down the sarcolemma and into a T-tubule and stimulates the release of calcium from the terminal cisterna of the sarcoplasmic reticulum where it has been sequestered by calsequestrin into the cytoplasm of the muscle cell or into the sarcoplasm of the muscle cell. Here we have a thin filament, and a thin filament is made up of, what we have represented in green here is the tropomyosin, pink is the troponin, and blue is the actin. Now that calcium has been released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, it floods over the thin filament where it now binds to troponin, pulling tropomyosin off the active site of actin. When ATP is attached to the myosin head, it is in a low energy state. When ATP breaks down, it releases its energy into the myosin head and now becomes ADP. At this state, the myosin head jumps to the available active site of the actin, where it binds to it. The myosin head is now attached to the active site of the actin. This forms what is called a cross bridge. When the body wants to stop the muscle contraction, an enzyme is released called acetylcholine esterase. This breaks apart acetylcholine and once again closes the sodium-potassium channels and the action potential is stopped.